Hello Donuts, today we are watching Family Guy's Wildest Moments. I don't know what's coming in this video, but I feel like it's going to be a hard watch. Okay kids, we're going to start practice as soon as I get that guy out of here. What I'm guy? 60 oh. yards away! Okay, great, great. Couldn't have hoped for a better start. Uh, there he is, Pedo Herbert. Why is the teacher not bothered? He's like, yeah, there's a pedo over there. Uh, just don't go near him. It's fine, right? Just, just ignore him. Ignore him. It's all right. Hey Meg, come here. Have a seat. <sighs> nice father and daughter time. What what could go wrong here? Nothing. Right? Just enjoying the sun. Dad, what are you doing? Meg, I'm a redneck, which means I am about to do something to you that you will not remember until you're 40. <coughs> Peter, what are you doing to us here, brother? Peter, come on, man. Peter. 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 <laughs> Peter. Pina! Ah, uh, I'd say I'm all off. I'm all off. Me pitch's not right. You know what? I didn't think it could get worse than dipping your feet in a paddling pool. Already then, I was like, hmm, alarm bells are ringing. And also, why is the sofa outside? Also, why would she remember when she's 40? Is she going into a coma after whatever Peter's going to do with her? Hey, come back here! I meant sex! Yeah, great. Thanks, Peter. Yeah, great. Thanks. What do you want, Griffin? Angela, look out your window. You see that Anheuser Bush billboard next to the children's hospital? Yeah. Well, watch this. Surely, like, you know, when you're, when you're putting the TNT in the building, you realise, oh, we're putting it in the children's hospital, not next to the sign. That's a pretty big mistake to make. I feel like the bomb squad severely messed up here. Also, did none of the kids suspect anything when people were planting TNT next to their beds? Oh, my God, this is horrible. Oh, God. Oh, oh that's third, terrible. Yeah, third, yes, oh, good Lord, save them. Bless their li Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, here we go. All right, everything worked out. Strictly speaking, we got there in the end. It's like a maths booklet. You work an out can be wrong, but if you get the right answer, full marks, right? That's how it works, isn't it? I can't remember. I don't even think I pass maths. Trying to get back on television ever since I stopped hosting Family Feud. How are you, Betsy? Welcome to the show. You are a lovely young woman. Yeah, let me just get my hand up there and feel that one. Right. And that one. And we'll look both? Did you have to... Did, first off, did you have to do one? And then you went for both. Surely you realised that was wrong after the first one? Peter, it's family feud, not family nude. You quizzed a thousand people, not one said that. I wonder what happened to Cindy. <laughs> first off, right, like getting tied up must be horrible like this is clearly a kidnapping going on awful but also to put her on the toilet floor like you know when you go into a lad's toilet it's just piss everywhere right you come out your shoes are squelching they're, they're like sticking to the floor this is awful cruel on so many levels dear oh. diary jackpot quagmire fucking quagmire this guy creepiest guy ever i don't care if he's in a cartoon i lost my house my wife left me for a bigger cock ah story of my life Honestly, story of my life. Every single time you find one, they leave you for a bigger cock. Every time. You get five minutes to say goodbye to your father. <laughs> so, Bernie. Holy moly, that's a huge cock. It is. It's a, that's, that's a big cock. That's a huge cock. Cockerel. Cockerel. That's a huge cockerel. But also, that the shithousery from the mother to bring a new boyfriend and his daughter and son to say goodbye to him whilst he's in the hospital bed. It's a cocky cock world out there. Oh, man, this toothpick is the best. I'm not going anywhere without it. Like Batman and his futility belt. It's always, that's the best thing about Family Guy. They'll just have like a, a joke and then like the, the, the punchline is like a skit that is just not related to the actual thing. It throws you off guard so much. I can't get these locks open. Don't you have something in your belt? Oh yeah, maybe. Let's see. I have some hockey trading cards, a post-it with that's some hair help. stuck to the edge, yeah, something help. that might be a roll aid. I don't know, it's just loose. Oh, Hurry, yeah. it's getting Batman. closer! Just, I have uh, some stamps. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you know what? It's a cert. Batman. Batman, you're meant to save these people, not kill them. Just quickly, 76.1% of you donuts are not subscribed to the channel. Press subscribe now so you never miss a video. Quick! In order to get you into fighting shape, I want you to drink this glass of raw eggs. I don't see any yolks. Just drink it. You're walking on eggshells, Quagmire. No pun intended. Hey there. Hey! Nice spot, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's great, especially because of that thing over there. You know what's in there? Corn. Really? Wow, I could go for some corn.
<laughs> You're dark, Raj. I don't care. <laughs> Depressed crow right here. Wait, aren't all like crows depressed? I feel like if one bird was going to be depressed, it would be a crow. They're just like walking around, you know, just like... Like, that's fucking depressed, man. Normally they got their head down as well, you know, they're kind of not confident. Their shoulders are forward. Crows are depressed. Fuck, crows are depressed. <laughs> Wow, family guy. Wow, what are you trying to do to me here? I am not engaging with this type of humor. That is awful. Guys, I know this has been a long voyage. Half of us- This is how I imagine like Andrew Tate talks to his f <laughs> Just standing in a circle while after he's beaten them all. Died of starvation. We all saw Billy rot out from the stomach. We saw Roger's face get eaten by a seagull. Imagine getting your face eaten by a seagull. It's gotta be one of the worst ways to go. Like, if there was, like, a bingo where you, like, you know, you put your hand and you pick that out, you'd be pretty good, right? Forget when Dave's bum sealed shut until he filled with poo and died. But it's all gonna be worth it. Trust me. Dave. Dave, Dave, Dave. Rest in peace, Dave. You'll never poo again. That's a fear of everyone, guys. You know, one day your butt all shuts. And one time you're gonna poop and you'll never know it was your last. Oh, fuck it up. That is actually a sad thought, like, you actually poop, and then, like, that's your last poop. This is a bit graphic, but if my butt all shut, I would just eat, like, so many chili flakes. I would, like, you know when your you, ear piercing, like, shuts when you don't use it for a while? I would just re-pierce it. Surely it works, th it's, they're all holes, right? What is this show making me say? It's not over yet. Come on, it's not like I can go back to school at my age. I'll never be a doctor. The best I could hope for is a male nurse who's probably killing all his patients. Well, I'm going home. Griffin, you have another eight hours on your shift. Now, what about your patients? They all died with dignity, God bless them. That is... That, with the current news going on right now, that is terrible. Like a stranger trying to make conversation. <laughs> Long line, huh? There's two of us. Reminds me of that Steinfeld episode. No sauce for you. Why is making conversation with a stranger so awkward though? Have you ever been in like a taxi and you get in and you go... Uh, what time you on till? Right, all right, uh, seven. Right, uh, oh, uh, what, what time did you start? Oh, seven. Right, um... Uh, this weather? What? What? This weather's over? <laughs> Missed both of them. I can't believe that show's still on. It's not. I really like that Julia Richard Dreyfus, though. Ugh. Mr. Sanders, thank you for waiting. Here's the medicine for your brain injury. Oh, uh, now I feel bad. The medicine for your brain injury, Christ. Your sock is drooping. You should totally pull it up. Really? I, I can't see it. Yeah, yeah. Just lean a little further and get it. No, don't do it, Humpty! Ah, ah, you fuck! Humpty! Why? I feel like I need, like, a Netflix documentary of, like, Humpty Dumpty. Like, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. But what happened in between? Nobody asks. How did he fall? Why did he fall? Was he upset? Was that his only route out in his head? Was it dark? Or did someone like convince him to go off like this? The whole middle bit is just cut out and no one seems to care. Why does nobody care? Think you can bang Leslie and I'm not going to do anything about it? Leslie the egg. That sounds like a hot egg. If an egg was going to be hot, it would be called Leslie. Where are you going? Oh, I'm meeting up with someone from my grinder app. Isn't that for anonymous gay hookups? No, no, no. This one's a way for guys who enjoy sandwiches to connect. <laughs> you meet both. <laughs> Peter, what, what sandwich are you expecting in there, my friend? There's no tuna melts in there. There is something fishy, though. I will give you that one. All right, let's do this. Oh. Are you also married? Damn, I'm, I'm gonna have to download Grinder. How do I get that? Is that on the App Store? All right, everybody gets a hot dog toaster and a special zigzag brownie pan so that every brownie you bake has a chewy edge. We got 300,000 Harlequin costumes and 500,000 sets of stairs that a dog can use to get up on a bed. Well, looking around, I can see everybody looks kind of thirsty, so each of you gets a Crash Bandicoot video game. 
Family Guy is so bad, man. Why would thirsty people want to Crash Bandicoot game? If I'm thirsty, right, the last thing on my mind is Crash Bandicoot. I don't care. Maybe it's the racing one, actually. That one was actually quite good. Just give me water, my friend. Our mattress still has the chalk outline from where my Uncle Leonard got killed by his third wife. She poured boiling grits on his privates and then shot him. You sleep on that? Well, I flipped it over. That, yeah, that's fine. As long I, I was hoping he flips it, but that's fine, right? As long as you flip it, it's a brand new mattress. We all know that. Lois, I'm so glad you're here. I really need to pee. Go ahead. I'll handle the kids. No, you need to come with me. The toilets are all like one foot off the ground, so I need to hold on to your arm while I lower myself down. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good flirting technique. Well done, Lois, for resisting. This whale's beached himself. He needs to get back in the water or he'll die. Step aside. I'll handle this. Give me some room. <laughs> Where did he get that from? How's he just pulled that out of his ass then? Watch his eye. No. Oh. Pete, 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 you suck. Pete, Pete you've, you've killed him. Pete, you, you've killed the fucking whale, my friend. You could have been a hero, but now you're a villain. Ah, uh, yeah, that, no. No. That's like you're stuffing a chicken. He's dead. He's dead. Pete, no. Stop. Stop. Peter! <laughs> I think we just did it. Peanut! Nah, no, I fucked it. Fuck! Fuck! Damn, this, this whale is going up and down more than my mood. This is going on too long. Why is this going on so long? Leave the whale! Oh my god, stop! 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 Please! Please, I beg. Please, please stop. <laughs> yes. Hey, okay, okay, okay. Wait, here's another one. Why do women have boobs? So you got something to look at while you're talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> That's, good. That's a good one, Peter. That's what they're for, all right. Are you telling jokes? I love jokes. Oh, all right. Then you'll love this one. Okay. Why do women have boobs? So you got something to look at while you're talking to him. <laughs> so you got something to look at while you're talking yeah, to him. Yeah, don't say it again, Peter. Fuck! Peter! Peter! Peter, your comic in this morning's paper is really offensive. <laughs> Well, I have to get to work, Chris. I have tons and tons of dogs to incinerate, but I can't wait to see you tomorrow night. Oh, sorry for the hot take, guys, but that's an ick for me. If I'm on a date and the girl's job is to incinerate dogs, it's kind of an ick. So sorry. I'll clean that up. Oh, uh, that's okay. I'll get it. Have fun at work. Okay. Bye, Chris. What do you think you're doing? What? You, a man, are cleaning up a mess made by Anna, a woman, that she, also a woman, spilled on you, a man. So? You're treating her like a human being. If you want to get anywhere with a chick, you can't treat him too nice-like. Really? Trust me, Chris. The next time you see this girl, treat her like crap. And you'll be cooler than a mid-80s novelty answering machine message. That's true. Guys, like, you know, 70% of my audience is female. You'll know that. You like getting talked to like rubbish. That's literally what gets you going, isn't it? That's the rules. You trick. You just. <laughs> we all know girls like being talking to like they're nothing. That's literally the only way to talk to girls, right? God, Peter Griffin is a man ahead of his time. Anyway, if you would like to see me react to an even funnier video, click right here. Click it. Click it.